Well, hello there, Gemini. How are you guys? Welcome, welcome in, welcome. Come on in, have a seat. I've missed you guys. You know I love you guys so much. I'm an Aquarius and Geminis are my friends. I've had, I have so much good history with Geminis. <laughs> I love you guys so much. You guys are incredible. Okay, so this reading is going to be for um, the um, full moon on the 15th. And there's also an eclipse here of the moon. Um, and also there is a, a Met Mercury retrograde at the moment. Um, the full moon exposes things, the eclipse amplifies the energy, it amplifies the energy, and the retrograde is a time to reflect, to slow down, to kind of look at the options that we have and everything with, you know, with care. Um, and sometimes it brings back people from the past, energies from the past, um, especially positive ones, if you are longing for someone or waiting for someone to return. This is definitely the time for it. I'm going to be using the fairy deck, the fairy and the Norman deck, which is one of my favorite decks here. I use it on the channel regularly. Um, and I have a connection with the fairies. I've got a video of a real fairy on the channel. I'll leave the link in the description. You guys can check it out. So let's see what the fairies have for you guys. Let's see what the first card is. Give me a card for the sign of Gemini. Wow, wow, look, the first card they give you is the sun. I think the fairies like you as well, Gemini. <laughs> the sun, there's going to be an occasion that's going to make you very happy, bring a lot of stability to a situation, especially if it has to do with matters of the heart. Someone here has been very thoughtful about love, whether you 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 were, you were wanting something new or or like something to return to you, it's auspicious for both. The sun is the happiest card, okay, in the deck. And it also talks about things being illuminated for you guys and new information coming to light. It could be communication as well. I, I know you guys, Gemini, are very good at communication. You do it, you do it right, you do it at the, at the right time. You don't shy away from it, which is something I really find amazing about Gemini people. Now, there is a letter M that I'm getting, or a letter W, it could be a W as well, in someone's name. It could, doesn't have to be the first name, it could be first or second names, or middle names, or whatever, in any order. But if that matches with you, then it's a good time for you, uh, because I think this will happen, and, will, and it will complete itself for you. I'm seeing happy days, I'm seeing people holding hands in the sunshine, which means now, like spring, summertime, I'm seeing a lot of stability. <clears throat> excuse me especially financial stability okay someone's money is getting better and i think that this is an energy that is coming to you gemini you've you've put in the hard work and now it's time for you to reap your rewards if any of you have been like contemplating thinking i'm seeing someone deep in thought about something like a, i've seen it like two times now don't don't worry it's gonna be okay, you know. If you if you're a masculine who wants to go towards a feminine, especially don't shy away. Do it. Because <clears throat> I do feel it's gonna lead to a breakthrough. And if you're a feminine, you're definitely getting communication from someone. It's gonna be beautiful. Something new wants to start. I'm getting the feeling of something new rather than something old or something, you know, like it has been, you know, been waiting for it for a long t time to come together. This is something new. Um, I think in terms of two people connecting as well, it's something new. This next card here is gorgeous. It's the house card. If you see this fairy house, it really is beautiful. It talks about security, this card. It's about what makes you feel safe or, you know, and it's like the thing that keeps you grounded and safe. So I feel that whoever's coming into your life, Gemini, is someone who's going to have a sense of security or safety, whether it's physical or spiritual. It's usually, I feel that this connection is very spiritual. It's from both sides. There's a sense of security, uh, both the masculine and the feminine. 
they get they're giving me the energy of this is something that you guys are worth you like you and your partner uh this is the best thing that can happen for for this couple when they come together to maintain a happy life a joint effort it was it was is what's gonna make it amazing it's also the, the the fairies are saying to me to tell you gemini don't forget about your own inner light because i think that here there's someone coming towards another person probably a masculine towards a feminine which is like you know the usual thing that happens that the, the masculine goes towards the feminine um, and the masculine is seeing this feminine and he's a bit apprehensive of her light her power she is someone who has significant spiritual power and i know you guys gemini's the duality of your sign is something powerful not only does it make you beautiful but it also makes you powerful spiritually so if you do rituals or something like that if you have gemini gemini in your chart and it's well placed you'll be a powerful manifester so someone here is intimidated by the light of the other but the fairies are saying don't forget about your own light because it always takes two to tango you know no one person's light would be enough for them if that's their wish but when two people come together with the strength of love that I'm seeing here and the strength of connection that I'm seeing here, then the light is very bright and it's felt along light uh, throughout a lot of them dimensions, a lot of places and energies. There's a big love here, a big love that's waiting to happen, Gemini, if it's not happened already. Okay, so, I mean, it's very interesting, the energy. So, something good is going to happen for sure when it comes to much of the heart for you guys. It's like someone's been watching you, Gemini, or seeing you somewhere. See, you've got the lover's card as well now. The fairies have given you that. I feel that in, in part of the collective, not all of you, someone's been seeing someone somewhere. In a, at work, in, a, in like, a, you know, um, you know, the park or online or anywhere. Someone's been seeing someone, watching them, watching them, watching them with, with love, with love in their heart. Powerful love, very sincere love, very pure. Um, so if that's been happening, th this is definitely the situation you've got on your mind, Gemini is gonna come together. Sometimes some of you don't feel that it's a stable connection or maybe it's like a, a, a yes or no situation where you want to see what the other person is gonna say, but I think it's gonna be a yes here from what I'm seeing. No way, no way, no other way to do it because you've got 31 of four, which is a four. You've got another four here. You've got two, which is a soulmate connection and you've got four again. So this is something that's powerfully guided, divinely guided. Divinely guided. I love the energy of the Gemini that I'm picking up on. You guys have a lot of foresight and you kind of see things before they happen. You've got the gift of like prophecy sometimes, Geminis. You see, and if you're a psychic, thank you so much for coming here. Your energy is amazing. I can feel it. It's so powerful. It's so warm. Very abundant as well. Thank you. So I think here they're saying leave your fears behind. See? Now you've got the bear. As soon as I said that. This bear card is incredible. It's very powerful. This It means that the masculine is very eager and he's very generous. So if you're the feminine, you've got a very... Strong masculine coming towards you, very eager. They're saying here that because this card as well, the bear can talk about stubbornness and situations where you'll find no joy in trying to <laughs> make someone change their mind. Um, it is a position of power. And it says that you're in the best position if you use your power wisely. 
If you're a masculine, don't be stubborn about contacting the feminine because that's not going to make things work. You've got to make the contact. You've got to establish contact. You need to do that now because I feel that this feminine has a lot of options. She's got a lot of power behind her, ancestral power. Um, and they're not, they're definitely not playing games with her. So if there's a masculine who's being stubborn with a feminine, or if you're the feminine Gemini and you're watching and a masculine is being stubborn with you, it's not going to last for long because he's going to start getting karma. Very, very powerful karma until he makes a move. Um, they're saying if there's a masculine here, they're saying use your power wisely. Okay. There is, the fairies are saying this, this feminine use the masculine like he's the actual son. So don't worry about rejection because I'm feeling for someone here, there might be a feeling worry about rejection. You, the masculine is extremely powerful. He are both physically and spiritually, but the stubbornness is not doing him any favors because there are many suitors here. Because if you see the bear here, there's one here and one here. And there's someone here, okay? And that's the masculine. <laughs> there's even people watching from the balcony, look. <laughs> so you need to come on quick, okay, if you're interested, all right? Um, this is beautiful, okay? And I think the end result is going to be a perfect match of both romance and abundance, okay? And I feel that you've been having, you had a feeling, Gemini, about this. It was going to happen or premonition or something. It's just gorgeous. Okay, I'll leave it here, you guys. I don't want to jinx it, but it's going to be amazing. This full moon, watch how it's going to get things moving. Because this is a divine connection that's meant to be. And if it's someone coming back from the past, you'll see how changed they are. And how willing to compromise they are. Okay, absolutely beautiful. Okay, the 15... Narrows down to a six, and six again is love. The N is the number of Venus. Thank you so much, you guys, for coming to the reading. I love you guys so much. Again, I'll say. <laughs> um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and I will always hold you dear to my heart and keep you in my prayers, you guys. I love you so much. I will see you guys in your next reading. Be blessed.